Ooh, 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 I've lost, I've lost the page, mate. Ah, uh, what's your password? <laughs> you asked him that from across the room. What's your password? <laughs> it's John Boyega. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it's JB here, John Boyega, man. Welcome to my shopping spree with GQ. About to buy some really amazing stuff. Let's see how this goes down. Collectibles, I like this category. And this is Naruto Shippuden. The price is £6,539.94. 19 frames hand-drawn, used for original animation of Naruto. Oh, ooh. I'm impressed by this. As a Naruto fan, I'm with it. Do you get three? You get 19 frames. You get 19 frame, frames. And it's the frames actually from the, uh, the great Ninja War. I watched this episode. This is where Madara was, he was killing and annihilating everybody. I pay the price. I value this. This is, yeah, this is for the culture. I like this one. All hail Madara. I dig it. About to choose my favorite anime. You know what they do to people that pick? <laughs> Them nerds. I don't know. It's definitely between Hunter x Hunter, Seven Deadly Sins, Attack on Titan. I'm going for the Blade, like the mainstream animes, by the way, that everybody knows. I'd say I like, I like, I like all of them on a good, uh, a good level of each. I like all of them. If you've actually ever watched any of my interviews before, you will know that I have some of the strangest objects, and uh, I have no explanation as to why I own them. I recently got Bilbo Baggins' smoking pipe from The Hobbit. I got that. Literally just a nice, well done replica made by an individual. That's the latest of the weird, strange things that I've got. And it actually wasn't even expensive. But now there's a whole heap of stuff. An Astro Boy NFT for 386,731. Okay. A whole house in Southwest. All right. Consists of 840 original drawings from the illustrator. Original black and white drawings are used to create a mosaic of the main character, Mr. Astro Boy. To be honest, I, I wasn't really much of an Astro Boy fan. I don't know about this whole NFT thing. We on land here. Assets, you know? Real things that we can see and touch. I'm smiling already. This is a Dragon Ball Super Top 16 Metal Trophy card for 7,500. Featuring Goku Black, awarded at the 2019 National Dragon Ball Super Card Game Championship, which I didn't know existed. It is believed that only 65 of these cards exist. For 7,500? I'd rather go for a Pokemon card. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards in school. And I'm sorry for some of my customers, some of them weren't legit. I had to go to Khan's Bargain to get that wholesale. You know, make life work. <laughs> <sighs> oh Lord. Daisy Ridley and John Boyega signed Star Wars poster for 557 pounds and 93 pence. Do I get commission from this? I don't even know if it's me. Yeah, it's me. It's me. I signed it. I signed it. I said, thank you. I appreciate you for supporting me. Little did I know. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I think that 557 is, is a bit harsh. We signed this picture in Los Angeles to promote The Last Jedi. So when they was crying and saying, my daughter loves you, it wasn't that. It was for this. I'm buying it back. I dig it, but I feel like um, we are always available to sign your stuff for free, guys, at the premieres. Damn. Pick one. I'm gonna go for the Naruto Doga for 6,579 and 94 cents. And I still have some cash in the bank to go and get some dinner. Nigerian food classic, you done this. GQ, I'm proud of you. Ready-made puff puff for £11.99. Woo, extortion. <laughs> so Nigerian puff puff, otherwise known as fried dough, is basically like our dumpling in a sense. It's also suitable for vegans, vegetarians, and there's no dairy and, and then no eggs. You get to dodge, your, dodge the toilet after this one. I have puff puff all the time. And this is also what they give you in a party bag when you go to any kind of event that's Nigerian. So this is like, this is mandatory. This is Africa's finest jollof seasoning. It's just 100 grams for £7.35. That price is given close to central London on the seasoning. I would knock off a pound on that. And if you know what jollof, this is our, this is our kind of, um, it's a rice shared by many African cultures. There's jollof from Senegal, there's jollof from Ghana, there's jollof from Nigeria. The Nigerians perfected it. Amen. <laughs> but it's a tasty blend of selective herbs and spices. It's a great seasoning for any dish and it's well packed for ease of use. Like Beyonce having a hot sauce in a bag, you can take this with you. I like this. I'll have to test it and see because jollof rice is one of my favorite dishes. I'm telling you, if I was on death row, that would be my last meal. I'm telling you jollof rice and some plantain, some chicken, some salad on the side. So I like this option, man. You've done your research. Nigerian Fanta. 
for £2.49. I actually got this before I was dieting, so this is kind of sad. They put extra sugar in that, I feel. The colour is definitely giving diabetes, you know. It, it's, it's giving close to death, but it is delicious, so maybe just a one-off. Nigerian fanta actually should be coming in com com combination with the jollof rice, because what am I supposed to be washing this rice down with? It should be together. But since it's sold separately, I'm with it. Culturally, super malt is the one I'd go for. That's one of my favorite drinks. Yes, I am a super malt drinker. For all of you guys throwing up, I'm not sorry. Yeah, but super malt is not Nigerian, apparently. I found out that super malt was actually Dutch. That kind of broke my heart, because I thought we owned it. Wow, I'm a la yam flour for 63 pounds. It's processed from carefully sourced African yams. The flour is used to take the Nigerian staple amala. I don't know what any of this is saying, but let me explain this. Amala is the brown version of pounded yam. It's a lot more potent in taste, a little bit more, much more bitter. Amala is one of my favorite dishes. This is what I enjoy eating. This is the kind of dish that you have to unbutton your trousers and let your belly hang for. So I have it with wedu and stew. Sometimes I throw in some cow leg in there and whatever meats. I can't be calm, but you know, I like assorted meat that's drenched in the stew. That would be good enough for me. So I'm with it, 63 pounds. All right, with the ready-made puff puff at 11.99, jollof seasoning at 7 pounds 35, the Nigerian Fanta at 2 pounds 49, and the Amala. That's a lot of days of eating. I'm gonna go with the Amala. Sold, 63 quid. London properties, you couldn't choose somewhere with more space? Damak Tower, Nine Elms, it's a two bed at 1.4 million. Do you know what I can build in Ghana <laughs> with this? I used to live on Nine Elms. I liked Nine Elms because I was by the river and there was something about that that was peaceful. But I moved in when they were just first developing the building, so there wasn't no one there. And then everybody started uh, coming into the block and stuff. It got a bit crowded, that's all. The interior design is, is done by Versace Homes. It's 50 stories, so I'm sure you get good 360 views of London, which is fantastic. You got a winter garden. Well, it's access to a winter garden. See, don't get this twisted. You don't own the winter garden. This is uh, access to the winter garden. It's worth considering. It's a good location, central to everything. A house in Highgate, N66NA. Now, this is what I'm talking about, but it is 40 mil. Six bedrooms, seven full bathrooms, two acres of land, a bespoke family home with the accommodation arranged over three floors. We've got an interior pool, we've got office space, with the benefit of a substantial self-contained staff lodge. So if you buy this, you have to be on big money. This is for the big boys. You see, interior design is very important to me and that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at here. I always go for modern, cont contemporary and modern, and I like a minimalist environment. But I'm not sure about the postcode though, because I'm from South London, and I always will be from South London. <laughs> Nunhead Lane, Peckham. Wow, Peckham done changed. 2.4 mil for a four-story building with eight bedrooms, three bathrooms, an active restaurant with professional kitchen. What is the restaurant included in the price? Yeah. Oh, so this is an investment. We still need more bougie-esque African spots in London. So I would add to the list. We need more places where young, black, attractive people can go and mingle and talk, you know, and eat their native food. And everybody else too, but a hub for uh, the culture. Cannon Lane, Northwest 3. We're already uh, out of the comfort zone. And it's 18 million. It's five bedrooms, five bathrooms, two entertainment rooms, now we're talking. A swimming pool, central spiral staircase, gym, multiple terraces, including a roof terrace. This is me. The interior design is, I don't like the sofa. The, the, the sofas we're gonna have to, and, and the, there's a lot of wood going on, but you know how it's just, Pretty much simple, it's minimalist, I'm with it. 18 mil, yep, cash, no mortgage. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely choose the property in Peckham. Let's go for that 2.4 and let's spend the rest of that money on a holiday home outside of London. That's that generational wealth, baby, I love it. 15,947 is the price of this LV coat. It's just clothes, I don't, I don't understand. Why is it 15K? And the design is not given for me. I like logos, I, I like all of that on coats, but maybe maybe not, not too much. I play the patterns by eye, I just look at the jacket, and if the pattern works, I'm with it. Because some designers are out there, you know? Some good designers who want to do some special new stuff, and that's what I'm about. I wouldn't pay this price, 15K. That's a down payment on the house. Can't do it. How do you say this name, Ber Berendonk? A fur coat for 4,400. We ain't doing that, we're moving on. We've got the Gucci, the North Face Gucci. When I choose a jacket, I look for obviously a good pattern and design and a good fit. I don't like something called colour riot. I don't like when the colours are fighting each other. That's for me what's going on here a little bit. I feel like your shoulders are going to disappear into this outfit, but they sent me a freebie. When you've already got one, why would you buy one for 2,250? 
Supreme XLV. Yeah, I'll go for that. But, oh, it's 15K. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna have to splash out for that one. I like that one. I like the Supreme LV. <laughs> All right, guys, let's look at some holiday packages. First up, Virgin Galactic Space Flight. Space Flight, wow. For 356,706, a two, three hour journey. You fly at speeds of uh, 2,300 miles per hour, top speed in eight seconds. I'm not interested in any of this. And I think I heard about some tests going to space that they're still trying to figure out. And this for me is a bit risky, but I, I like the price though. I was surprised, I would have thought that it would have been way more expensive to go up into the atmosphere like this, but uh, yeah, no, no, no. Fast track uh, mountain climb. So it's a premium base camp with Wi-Fi, five star accommodation, required to climb at least 8,000 meter peak pr prior. 29 days. Ah, I think this is too much of a commitment. What's the kind of adventures that you look for? Sleep, because while filming and doing all that kind of stuff, I think that's where a lot of the adventure is. And by the time I've done all of that, I'm tired. I went to South Africa recently and uh, saw a bunch of lions uh, walking around from the safety of a car. That felt adventurous. Ooh, we have a lodge in Rwanda here. A gorilla trekking experience. I'm with it. I'm with it. Now this is this is great. 9,700. All right. You can hike deep into the forest and you come face to face with a mother gorilla and her baby. I feel like they were going to be more protective if the babies are around. But right. and then you stay in in an exclusive lodge in the natural amphitheater. So you stay in an eroded volcanic cone. I'm with it. A Titanic submarine expedition. One hundred. And 98,200. I watched the film. <laughs> I watched the film. Since its discovery in 1985, fewer than 250 people have personally viewed the Titanic. Now, they're saying that as if it hasn't got nothing to do with the 198,200 that they probably have to spend. 3,800 meters in a state of the art sub as a mission specialist and training coach. Your dive time is eight to 10 hours. Do we have any diving, diving training before this or are we just going in cold? I'll be real with you. You can go to the Caribbean for half the price and you can see some, you know, some down, some down boats down there and it's blue and then you can go somewhere else and see the stingrays and stuff like that. So for, just because of the price, Save my money, because the rest of these options are very expensive. So maybe we're friends and just go see them gorillas. And that's it, guys. It's JB here. That's my shopping spree done. Thank you. What's that supposed to say? Yeah, that was Is that good. it? Yeah. <laughs>